here we have a large nervous system, roughly 500 million neurons in the case of an octopus. And the most recent common ancestor of you on one side and an octopus on the other was that very simple worm-like creature living in the Ediacaran 600 million years ago. So what we really have is independent evolution from that point down two sides. And I think of this consequently as the closest we'll ever come to meeting an intelligent alien. The mind evolved in the sea. For all the early stages, for the first and crucial period, until about 400 million years ago, just about all life and all animal life was in the sea. And in that period before life on land, most of the essentials were laid down. And to some extent, um, all the rest is fine tuning. Now, I'm not saying that everything was in place uh, before we came up on land. Uh, mammals certainly have special features as to humans, but the basics were in place. And the question that then arises is whether what was in place included those aspects of the mind that philosophers have found most mysterious, subjective experience and consciousness. Now, this is a famously difficult question, but I think we can work towards answering it, and I think the answer to the question is yes.